We're behind a two stroker. Chipping, no, oh, no, that's all you need. Sprints, chip, skid risk on her hundred yards. Have they not put them down yet? What we are in the Yamaha RD. Little RD. Oh, they haven't got them down yet. <laughs> Fast line super bikes. R1Z. What's going on here? No, you're not a bad place to stop, is it? Would have thought. I'm going to get a brew at bridge, I think. Ah, I will have a minute. Time are we on? 10.29. Thanks, <laughs> fuck it. She might be having a coffee at the moment. Out of the machine. Oh, she went on about going to those old twistle mills with her mother. As I say, I mentioned she's got into sewing and uh, she wants to find somewhere that they'll lessen and take it further. She's not like me, Sprocket, she can't sit there and do nothing. <laughs> Whereas I can sit there and quite happily do nothing. I do a lot of research in a bit at this and that on other on the internet. Hey up. <laughs> Thank God we came through when we did and not much late mind you having said that I'm gonna have to go on to the other side of the road at some stage. Where have they started from? Oh dear. We're going to hit it at some stage. We are going to hit it. Diddle dee 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 dee. Oh no, we're not. We've uh, got away with it, ladies and gentlemen. We have got away with the spray and chip. That's good. Excellent. Diddly dee dee. Might as well stay back. I mean, there's too many cars, and I, don't, and I really don't mind smelling too stroke. Memories just flood back. Got anything to smell anything? I might as well smell too slow. Oh, these twisties could have had these.
Melling Village Ho. Drew Carter. He'll have a panic attack when he gets down there and sees that spray and chip. He might think he'll have to come across it. I'm not bad, boy. Look beautifully clean. That road there takes you back up to Slibbon. What a grand day. There's lots of traffic in there for the bloody choose there. How much two stroke do you want to swallow? <laughs> no, it didn't bother me at all, did not. He's right behind me now, he's uh, he's on my tail. Road closed here. Diddle dee 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 Dunstall Village. So anyhow guys, what have you lot been up to? Been a while since I put a video up, on it? I'll get this one up as soon as I can when I get home. Uh, get it on there. Damn it, any parts it'll make, I might just stick it on as well. Once I get the bridge, I might stop after him because he had air to it, don't he? I need to edge my in slowly. <laughs> nice and steady. Have you all been um, upgrading your toys? I know Bob has, Bob Kane, Derek, he's been upgrading his BM. My mate Chris Blackburn's been upgrading his Ducati exhaust and this and that and other. Nice bit of open road. Little two stroke man behind me.
Just drop in bucket to add name. Down to a forward deck, always best to a bear around these parts. Don't know what's around that corner. I suppose I could go back over Riverhead, I haven't been over Riverhead for uh, a while. Been jumped. Them guys do a good job. A lot of time for them guys, a lot of time. Excellent, they work right through, aren't they? Just, they're like an emergency service. You need your crap taken out on a regular basis, otherwise you're bloody bung up. Working all weathers, hail, rain, snow, sleet, wind, red hot, freezing cold. I don't know what the wage is, but it should be bloody good. And if it isn't, why not? Badger, Jesus Christ, that weren't so, would it? What would it a foot long? What a shame! What a shame! I bloody hate rogue kill, especially something like that. <coughs> I see we're watching the program Sprocket Line last night. Beavers are back, you know, beavers, they're on a trial run. And uh, I said to Sprocket, I said, the only predator they have in Britain is man. And just at that moment, a fox came. And uh, Beaver went straight up fox, and fox thought better of it and buggered off. I said, there you go. But thinking about it this morning, not that they would, but if they did, well, my new dogs, I suppose, some bloody dogs are the predator, aren't they? I'm on about wild animals. A badger, probably a badger would do a beaver, but they'd never get to, to that stage because uh, miles apart, so it's not going to happen. But yeah, but it's good to see isn't it wildlife coming back. Well, I think it is. I think it's absolutely marvellous. Couple here. There's a couple here. Let's find herself a nice little spot at the front. Get right at the front here, it'll do, won't it? Here it'll do, will it? Next is trying. Yeah. Not going anywhere anyway. Took it in a bit. A bit right there. Well, there's a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and myself fourteen. Fourteen bikes. 
Hadi biraz sonra gerekiyor. Well, welcome back YouTube. A nice brew there in a paper cup. To be, to be honest, I've much preferred it to uh, pot cup to usually give it to get quite warm and it was uh, a lot bigger as well. And had a little cake here. Device connected. A little cake for the grand total of £2.40. I thought there were a problem there. That's better. Lid were up. Hey, we're on it now. Happy days. Yeah, they were lucky back there, weren't it, going through that uh, area without uh, the chippings. Everything seems fastened. I just had a bit of a draft. That's better. No, no worries. All I've got underneath this. Uh, Nothing you need to know. This <laughs> my tackle is uh, I took the uh, the warming gear out the legs and the waterproofing because I don't think I'll need it today. And uh, left the bit in the jacket, but all I've got underneath is a t-shirt, and I am more than warm. In fact, I'm sweating up. So uh, I'm happy with gear, buffalo. Uh, Wolf, wolf gear. Yeah, suited with it. Armor's uh, good. I when I got it, I got the pants, and I tried the pants on, and uh, the knee protector, with you know below my knee, I weren't happy with that. Thought bloody hell, we should have known that because that's the last thing you need, isn't it? You don't want that. You don't want that at all. So uh, I had a play about with it and lo and behold there's a couple of velcro straps at the back of the leg. So the knee protector you slide it into place at wherever you want it. And uh, yeah it just slides into place and uh, it keeps the knee, the knee, the knee protector now is, uh, is on my knee. And it's uh, stayed there while I've been walking about, riding, walking, no worries whatsoever. Wonder where them chippings are going. Just put the um, visor down, sun visor. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Be rude not to. Hundred yards, ten yards. They're not here yet. They haven't jump chipped. <laughs> Oh, happy days. That's me keeping away from here for the next uh, foreseeable. I shall ring my chum up and let him know what is going on. Now, I can't make my mind up whether to go back over um, Ribblehead Viaduct uh, or go back through Gisborne uh, Forest. I think I'm going to take Gisborne although I do like Ribblehead. Where do you want to go guys? Ribblehead Gisborne Forest. Let me know. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> Text me. Ring me. Jacket's open. It's velcro. Oh, I tell you what I am done. I am bloody zipped it up. 
Oh, yeah, back we morph. But uh, to be honest, I'm quite uh, liking the uh, draft. A little, a little ditter there, didn't we? Nice bedding plant there. Garden's looking lovely, but uh, as I said, we didn't buy. I was still uh, almost end of May. The bedding, and we're glad we didn't, because uh, that late frost and it, uh, lots of people have bought it and it uh, wiped theirs out. Uh, Sprock and I hung back, hung back, hung back, hung back, and then we went for it uh, just before the end of May, yeah, a week before. There's all that old saying, they never cast a clout till May is out. You can never cast a clout till May is out, meaning uh, don't bank on the weather not uh, freezing before uh, the beginning of June. And you can't, as was the case this year. I'll probably speak to Chris tomorrow, I'll let him know then, because he won't be coming up here till, till weekend at the earliest. So he won't be eating them chipping. Nice little nod back there. A nice little nod back. Ingleton. You can get up to Ribblehead up there. Take your legs left. Take it to Ribblehead if you want to go. Oh, you could have gone up lower down. Farm toys, you must make some big farm toys there. Toys, farm toy shop. A lot of farms around here, I suppose, uh, kids who work the farms. Mind you, it's not so long, they're not, they're not so old, are they, before they're on big stuff, never mind playing with toys. On bloody tractors and driving tractors and four uh, quads chasing sheep around at bloody nine. Yeah, big boy. I'm not going after that there car in front because I'm not sure if it's not plod. So we'll hang back. Doing 60 anyhow. And you don't want to do any more on this road, I'll tell you. This is a well-known, notorious road for cameras. Well-known. And as I have decided, as you'll know by now, I'm not going over Riverhead, which is over there, that's Ben again. I am going to go through Gisborne Forest. Or I could go straight down and over at Twisties. But I've got it in mind to uh, Gisborne Forest. I like that area. And he'll take us back over uh, oh, 
Oh no, I won't take it back up and no, because I'm gonna go down and feed this little girl, big girl. Not going to laugh in Larry's because he never laughs. <laughs> you don't even get a smile. So we'll not be going over Pendle on the way back. We're going down the road and I'll fill up at the uh, large garage down there at the roundabout before we take the left to home. And that's on the A59 of course. Africa Twin The uh, sun has gone in. But having said that, I've still got the visor in, some visor down. Uh, it makes it a bit brighter, but even so, it's not as bright as it was earlier. Clapham. Village. That's a nice little village, it's Clapham. Bent them to the right and skipped them straight on. Somebody going to pick some carrots up? Clapham Common uh, train station there on the uh, on the right. Of course, the trains uh, from there are the ones from uh, skip them to Carlisle. See, did an interesting. Um, vlog on the railway children it very uh, very interesting it's an area I don't uh, seem to frequent that way however although I have I have been if you look back on my vids I have been that way once with you or twice maybe What's going on at Oswick? What is going on at Oswick? Oh, it's that camper turning around. Look, what the hell? He's got himself in the position there, hasn't he? He's got himself in a bit of a pickle. What's going on here then? What the hell was that about? It went blob, would it? I don't know what the hell that was about. I haven't got a clue. You haven't come down. 
pass. Pass on that one. Nice cut of on sight there. Look. There's a hell of a lot of traffic about, say for a Tuesday. I've never known it like that, unless there's someone over here somewhere. People on over here, I don't know. My why didn't he let me go? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I suppose if you've never had a bike, you wouldn't think that uh, you'll have a biker stuck up your backside if you don't let him pass. Or maybe, uh, rightly so, that they pay the car tax and they deserve to be in front. And uh, I should hang back. That's their prerogative. But being gentlemanly or ladylike, you think they would uh, just pull in and wave you by. Just drive on by. Wonder if she lives down here. I'll just take for a ride. Mm -hmm. What's the form of the material? Uh, material. I've seen all the form of the uh, vehicles then. Form of the I said, look. Well, why you got a brand new combine or a Vista? I suppose they need to get the uh, grass in, don't they? Get it dry, get it in. And a nice dry spell to get it. Well, that grass it back in our back garden, bloody hell, every time you look at it, it's grown. Sick of more, innit? Bit England plain, I've had a flag up uh, outside house. England flag, just doing me bit. <laughs> I have a couple of Scottish vloggers. You're doing all right, lads. You'll get through. We'll all be there in the end. Hopefully, all three of us England, Scotland, and Wales. But I could never, I know there's rivalry between Scotland and England, I know that, I'm not thick. But to me, the one year when Scotland got through and England didn't, it's going back a few years, granted, but I supported Scotland. I watched every Scottish game. I, you know, I know about the rivalry, but I think uh, we take it a bit too far. Personally, it's taken a bit too far. It's a game at the end of the day. I think I told you about the football shirts. When kids were little, they wanted a Burnley shirt. And Burnley had sold out in shops in Burnley. Hey, Burnley and Blackburn are rivals. In fact, it's far as... It's, this is not me, they hate each other. This is not my words, this is the supporters' words, not me. Just telling you what, what it's like. Again, if it were me, like, and Burnley got knocked out of a cup and Blackburn, I'd support Blackburn. I ain't got a problem, honestly. Not got a problem, I don't know where it comes from. But anyway, lads wanted a Burnley shirt and it's all out in uh, Burnley. I thought, next time, Blackpool, JJB Sports, or something like that. Every big outfit we went to in Blackburn. I said, excuse me, I said, have you got any Burnley shirts for these for kids like? She looked at me going, hey, so are you joking? I went, no. 
said, you can't be serious. I said, what? I said, what do you mean? He said, how long do you think they'd last in this shop in Blackburn? He said, they'd rip them to bits with Stanley knives. Do you know, I never give it a, th I never give it a thought going to Blackburn for the Burnley top. I never, honestly, never entered my head. But although I do uh, uh, realise rivalry, but I think you can take it out of context. You know, a local derby, yeah, I'm up for it. You want your own team to win, but at the end of the day, if the other team wins, it's, hey, oh, it's one of them. You'll play again, and next time, same as Scotland with England. It could have gone either way to the night, either way. Be watching it tonight, England, Czech, and Scotland. They put in get a couple of games on at the same time now. I'm missing. <laughs> I'm, I'm having to miss out on a couple of games. It's, it's not uh, going down well. And Sprocky didn't let me catch up. <laughs> she wants it. What? She wants it through two games back to back. <laughs> Uh, we're on 11.28 at the minute. V-Stroms. They're a nice bike. V-Strom. I think this was one up foot when I first got Africa's win. I think this was one up first roads I came on. Or came back on. doing down there. A wheelbarrow doing something. Right, well, right, Mum. Oh, he's coming my way, thank God for that. That was good timing, weren't it? We've got white van man in front, that would have been all. You'd seen notebook of this scenery you're about to see. Look at that. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Cautionary tale and the police wipe my car, right? Or up and running. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. Enjoyed bringing with me today, YouTube. It's been good. Can't even see why it bum bum. You 
Give me. Hey! hey. <laughs> A ram with an attitude. We get to the top of here and we look right down at uh, Gisborne Forest. Be able to sit uh, res. What's that then? Oh, it's a grip box. It's back to back. Two grip boxes. Two grip boxes. It didn't look right. Yellow and green. And that I haven't been, uh, I don't know, haven't this were gritted and sprayed and chipped, but it uh, looks uh, reasonably fresh. Well, the res looks uh, reasonably full. Two have had all that hot weather. And that's the forest, or the beginning of uh, Gisborne Forest. Stretches from there right across. Wild boar in that forest, I kid you not. My ears is a wild boar park and they have escaped, but uh, don't alter the fact that there's a wild boar in the forest. Hey, now that, no it couldn't. Couldn't give a beaver a run for it. Well, it could if it raked at water, like that. Gisborne Forest and Stocks Res. I've lifted... Uh, what's that? I've lifted from the helmet up. I'm going to take it slow. Um, so you're not getting too much wind noise because this is a beautiful, I, I usually scoot through here with you but I'm not going to do today, just look at that that's Gisborne Forest, stretch it all the way down here again a lot of um, history around this area the townlies and the laces of Istra. Like the monastery, the churches. It was mainly Protestant area but uh, with Catholic um, Catholic rich people. But, as I've said in the past, I do not intend to go into religion or politics if I can help it. Or money. <laughs> Them's the three things I think in life that uh, can ruin a, a friendship. Money being the number one.
Very safe, if you're lending a friend money, you might as well give it them. Not that they won't give it you back, but if they didn't, it's a friendship gone over what, a few quid. Is it worth it? Is it really worth it? No, it didn't. So, if you're lending a very good friend money, Give it in with the intention of not getting it back. And if you don't, if you get it back, it's a bonus. And if you don't, you've still got your friendship. All that rejuvenation there, all them trees. Hundreds, thousands replanted. Foxglove, Digitalis purpurea. Latin name. Fair share of foxglove round there. Herb Robert. See all sorts, don't you, when you just take your time in countryside. They always say, let the countryside come to you, you know, stop. Just pick a position and stay there for an hour. You see that fungi on that tree, that were uh, known as uh, Razor Sharp or you, what was the name of that? Pyptoporus betulinus, birch polypore. And you can, if you're out walking and you get a blister, you can cut a, you can act with a, with a good knife, Adam. Adam has a, Adam has a good knife. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> oh, what's that, what's your thing called, Adam? Adam, Adam, on tour, Adam. Wild Adam, I can't, it's gone. There's no point me trying to remember. Well, anyhow, on Adam's channel, he has a short now. <laughs> oh, I'm la you've got to watch the video to know what I'm laughing at. Well, if you have a short knife, you can cut a bit, bit of that birch polypore and you can uh, use it to uh, put, you know, you cut the centre out and you put it on your blister and it stops your shoe rubbing on the blister. I kid you not. And also, it's also known as razor sharp and, uh, and barbers, you know, for a shave, they used to sharpen their uh, cutthroats up on the, on the fungi because it sharpened, sharpened the blade, hence the name razor sharp. I'll give him a plug earlier on with his, his right channel name. I just can't think of it for life in me a minute. That's probably another sign of age. Well, it is a sign of age, isn't it? There's plenty of water in there. It is down a bit, I suppose, but not a lot. Adam on tour? No. Adam's wild camping? No. Oh, I'll slip it in here if I remember. Adam in the wild. No. Boy knife, Adam. <laughs> Adam boy. <laughs> I know. 
I wonder what they must think when you see a, a motorcyclist coming down the road laughing. <laughs> must think I'm a bloody lunatic. Well, they're not so far off, are they? Let's face it. <laughs> Let's face it. Am I right in head? I don't know. Sprocket says I'm not. <sighs> but I've said before, she says, that's one of my attributes, why she likes me. Because I'm not all there. <laughs> uh, Sorry Adam, your channel name escapes me. I know, I know, I know it's only two words, but it's uh, the moment it's gone. I hope I've given you the plug and I hope you get some uh, more subscribers and uh, more people watch and comment because it is, it is worth watching and commenting. And I must remember to put the part in where the police wrote my car off. I'm on with that. Whoa, do you see that? That would have been just caught me. Right on edge of helmet, so on that matter. I'm putting the uh, front face down. I don't want that one smacking. That would have hurt that one. That would have stung. It's a blind bend here, you just can't see so it's coming until you're on it. Good old pendle. We would have been going back over that if I hadn't have uh, needed fuel. I really don't need it, down to three boards, but it's always better for when you're setting off next time and you don't have to worry about fuel, you just set off and go. Full tank, you can get anywhere. Well, we ain't reason. Pheasants, they're a bit thick, sometimes. They like fly to water, I nearly had one on my head once. One of the uh, lads I go out with, Christopher Jury, mentioned him in the past. We were uh, out on the bikes and Chris was uh, on my back wheel. We, I think we both had CBR 600s at the time. 
going out for leather as you do. And I just looked up and the bloody pheasant were coming down. Pheasant were landing on me first. On me first. I did I could see half a dozen eggs. <laughs> we're that close. <laughs> I just managed to duck at last minute and uh, I'm happy to say both the pheasant and I survived. You know, if you kill anything when you're riding on back, it knocks, well, it knocks me sick. Uh, I've killed a couple of blackbirds. In pass, you know, it's just flown straight across the road, and you've had no, not a chance. But you know you've killed it, and it just, it, <coughs> it does for me ruin it, dear. You start, stop thinking about it, like you know. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Trust box here for eggs and such. Oh, I can't wear it out. Usually, uh, no. Must not have no eggs. There's another one here to my left. Oh, there's eggs in it. <coughs> One half a dozen eggs, a dozen eggs, wait you want, a couple of dozen in there, at least. Big boy. The aunt Charles stopping at the moment. I'll throw it lad as well. Two months on, they saw they came out of the bloody rented house, moved into our house, well uh, they bought their new house. And it's not gone through yet. Delightful little child. We get on rather well. How did you do for Father's Day? I did all right. I got uh, sweeties, cards, money, and. Uh, Costa coffee. Aren't you? For a couple of coffees when I might. <coughs> Usually get one at Kirby Stevens or um, to the place. Kirby Stevens and uh, mm. Leyburn.
They have no engine guards on the bike now, I took them off. So, uh, no protection. But I have to say, it's running well. Yes, she's running good. You never tell when someone's coming up that narrow ginnel there. Just narrows down it too too much of it, you know, you couldn't get past. I'm looking forward to putting this video up. I hope you find it of some entertainment. Pass a bit of time on while you watch paint dry or something. Just concentrating there, YouTube. Just concentrating. Bear with me. My Lord. Come trail the tent. What do you think of them trail the tent? I think they would hide me so. You know, you no know, restriction in your view from rear view mirror. Uh, pretty. Easy to tow, I would have thought, we know not much drag. Aero efficient. Okay guys, we're back at Soli. And we're passing Soli Abbey to my left. And you've been the rest of the way many, many times with me guys, so... What I'll say, thank you for joining me on this little trip out. I've enjoyed your company. Hope you like the videos I'm about to make out of it. Please do comment. I do try and answer everybody's comment. Put it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. I don't mind one way or the other. Uh, Thank you to any new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. I'll just give us a minute while I get around this bend. Yeah, as I've said, thank you very much for new subscribers. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like my bell, ring my bell, put your thumbs up, put your thumbs down. <laughs> and all that remains to be said for a morph is stay sunny side up. Adios YouTube. Adios.